Hi, I'm Christian Bidner, Safety Product Manager for Gary Electric, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new 843ES SIP Safety Encoder recently released by Rockwell. So before I get into some of the features and design of this new encoder, let's take a step back and talk about what an encoder actually does, how it can be used in a safety configuration, and some of the challenges that designers may face when using non-safety encoders in safety functions. So first of all, a standard encoder, all it does, it takes rotary motion and converts it into pulse signals. These pulse signals are then interpreted by a controller, and this controller then can infer position, frequency, speed, direction, or distance. When you use these in safety functions, generally you're looking at stop motion detection or low speed or speed detection systems. When you use standard encoders in safety functions, you need to use at least two for redundancy and this is where the design challenge really comes in. Now you have to wire, configure, and mount two devices and that can be a bit of a challenge especially when it comes to space. So there's extra cost and extra time involved putting these systems together. Also, because a standard encoder is not a safety rated device, validation can be a bit of a challenge. The solution is to use a safety rated encoder like the 843ES. The 843ES communicates via SIP safety over Ethernet IP. It's the only encoder on the market that currently offers communication via SIP safety over Ethernet IP. Ethernet IP is probably the most popular industrial automation protocol being used in the automation industry here in North America. The device itself is a SIL3 PLE capable device. It has an IP67 housing, which means it can be used for washdown applications and in the food and beverage industry. Mounting considerations can be servo mount, solid, or hollow shaft designs. There are single or multi-turn resolutions and pulse configurations available. The device itself is an absolute encoder, meaning if, if power is lost to encoder, it will not lose its positioning. In order to configure this device, Proposal Works can walk you through the steps. In order to use this device or communicate to, to this device, you need to ensure that you're using the most up-to-date Studio 5000 software, usually version 31 or later, and that you also have downloaded the add-on profiles in order to set up communication. The device right now will only communicate to compact guard logics or guard logic systems of the 5580 and 5380 variety. Notice on the picture that there actually are two Ethernet ports that you can directly connect to. Here's an overview when you're working in Studio 5000 of how you can use this new information that's coming across from the 843ES. To be clear, once again, GuardLogix 5580 controller and Compact GuardLogix 5380 are currently the only controllers that will support communication to the 843 SIP safety encoder. New instructions box have now been added to Studio 5000 that are TUV certified and can perform up to SIL3 PLE monitoring and stop functions. In this example here, the information from the encoder is being fed into the safety feedback interface. This interface will then send out actual position, home position, and actual speed position to safe stop one add-on instruction block. The safe stop one, what that does, it once it receives a signal to stop the drive, it will ramp down the speed of the drive until the drive has come to a stop and then will perform a safe torque off, in other words, removal of power to the motor. Other functions that are now available in Studio 5000 with Kinetics 5700 are safe stop two, safe operating stop, safe limit speed, safe position, safe direction. All these new functions can now enable you to make safe speed monitoring configurations, safe position, safe maximum speed, safe home position, or same safe cam position in your programming environment. In order to build and configure the 843 part number, please download ProposalWorks directly from the Gary website or from rockwellautomation.com. The add-on profiles in order to make the product communicate are available from the product compatibility and download website 
And lastly, the user manuals and installation guides are also available via the link you see here or from the Rockwell Automation website. I'm Christian Bidner, Safety Product Manager for Gary Electric, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at gary.com.